Hello there guys! Um, so this time I'm just going to show you guys a video on uh, hen feeding. So we're on the last two weeks of hen feeding. Uh, every morning when we hen feed, we weigh our baby first. So there you see the little scale with a little rabbit on it. Uh, the first baby is weighing 160 grams this morning, which is nice. Uh, the base rate is around 150, so that's a good size. And this guy, number two, is at 148. And let's see the little guy. The little guy should be catching up pretty good. Let's see, 144. There we go. So I would say from these weight, number one, very good. Number two and three, definitely still in the middle of weaning because um, the base weight again is 150 with the little. They're supposed to lose a little bit of weight, um, but I wouldn't say they're eating overnight by themselves. <laughs> and you can tell the big one is definitely ready. <laughs> he can fly directly to me for food. <laughs> He doesn't really need much hen feeding anymore. I'm just giving him just a little bit. So we use a syringe because you can measure how many cc they're eating. Um, if you use a spoon, it's very hard to estimate. And if you overfeed them, of course, it's not very good for the little stomach. Uh, so that guy, I gave him just a little bit of hen feed because he's eating on his own and I don't want to overstuff him. Then uh, the little guy here that I'm feeding, that's number three, that's the smallest one, but you can tell uh, number one is trying to steal food from him <laughs> and you have to really be good at maneuvering, uh, maneuvering <laughs> between the babies and make sure you count who is eating how much. So that first round I think I gave him seven and he did pretty good. So now I'm going to try <laughs> to move to a different spot uh, just to get them to spread out a little. And I'm trying to top him up to give him about 10% of his body weight. <laughs> that was a big struggle, so I'm just going to speed forward here. Uh, two of them flew to the floor, basically. This is a long sto story short. And uh, I finally got just one left. This makes life a lot easier <laughs> when there's only one. Um, the other two are just on the floor nibbling my toes, but you can't see it in frame. Uh, I actually don't mind that. It's good for them to explore. It's good for them to use their wings. And we'll pick them back up in a second here. Just try to feed them 10% of their body weight um, before we say it's done. So this guy is basically done. I gave him a little bit more just for comfort. Um, he doesn't really need to eat that one extra CC there. All right, so now I think I'm only missing one little baby. I'm looking at the floor trying to figure out which one is it. The middle one. Oh, Ryan found it. Um, so he's bringing that to me. Perfect. So that's the only guy that need to eat just a little bit more. And you can see, uh, number two is the one I'm feeding, but number three is also trying to steal food, copying from his big sister. Uh, they do copy each other's behavior, but I try to tell me, nope, that's not for you. That's the middle one. Now, I'm worried that number three will fall, and number three's feather is not as full. You can see those white patches behind his back, so if he fall, he fall harder than the other two, so I'm trying to catch him with my extra hand. I often try to only use one hand to feed, that way they know where the hand is coming from. Uh, if you use two hands, it can get really confusing and overstimulating. So you see I'm pretty clear with my hand is. At the end of the feeding, we always have to wipe their beaks. Uh, the formula can get stuck on the feather and it can get a little sticky, obviously not comfortable. So we get a little lukewarm uh, paper towel and we wipe everybody's beak. So we, I'm wiping the last one, the big one just climbing up the ladder. And that's it. That's everybody. Let's get number one in frame to finish up our hand feed today. And there we are. Thank you for watching. I hope that's fun for you. Have a good day. Bye.